how this all started. Um, so let's just uh, hang out for a minute. Cody Shoemaker wants to send me a message. Oh boy. Oh, good. I wonder what it could be. That's my favorite Shoemaker. I wonder what they're going to ask about. I have this really rare beanie. How much is it worth? Oh, I have two PMs. One of them is I have a car I'd sell for 75. Well, I said I'd pay 50, <laughs> so that okay. Uh, well, <laughs> how about 50? All right. What do you got for me, Cody? Let's see. Yay, it's Gobbles, Niggy, and Rainbow. Random bullshit. Three dollars. Okay, so, um, I guess that's enough waiting. I'm probably going to wind up re-explaining this later when more people join, but, um, so, first, I have to mention that the stream game is set as the PlayStation Move starter disc, because Twitch doesn't have a way for me to just enter PS1 games, or PS1 as a system. When I was doing the Sega grab bag, it, um, it let me enter, like, Sega Genesis Classic Collection or something, which technically isn't just the system, but it fit well enough. But, uh, I can't enter PlayStation, so I, I just typed in PlayStation, and the first thing that popped up was the PlayStation Move Starter Disk, and I'm like, yes, perfect, that's exactly what I'm playing. Um, and second, uh, is, h how did we get here? How did we arrive at this tumultuous yeah, situation? Myself. How did I get here? Um, so, uh, as we normally do, Josh and I were kind of sitting around, uh, trying to figure out, you know, what the fuck to do with ourselves. I'm over there wanking off, he's over there wanking off. What, by the and, door? And, um, well, I mean, yeah, that's where you were. Not by the door, I mean in front of this, okay. right here. Um, and we're looking through, like, I have this, alright, let me stand up and get the camera. Also, you're kind of just dying. Yeah, I hurt my back yesterday doing nothing. I don't know what hurt it, so now I have a hard time moving around a bit. So I'm going to be a little bit slow. But um, I have this. Not be pointing that at me. I have this shelf of games and records that I'm not trying to focus on, and um, we're looking through that for you know something to play, and you know the, a couple things pop up that are interesting. Um, Come on, camera, work with me here. This fucking thing. I think there might have been like one frame where it was, uh, my, I was making a oh, I was trying this. to. I was trying to have me in front of it, I'm sorry. This is fine. Now they can see, like, the left half of you. Is that yeah. objectionable? A little bit, but that's okay. I'll just um, do a little dance. So, we're looking through, and we start getting the idea that, like, there's some, like, really weird, kind of obscure games that we could play. Like, I was looking at Yu-Gi-Oh! False Bound Kingdom. Also, no, it's not Stormy here. It's, like, the PS2 menu. Yeah, the PS2 menu just makes that yeah. noise. Yep, like um, it, yeah. And I start looking through, and I pick up this, I pick up this game from my PlayStation section, which I have. I have no idea where I got it. I don't know what it is. It's uh, Broken Sword, uh, Shadow of the Templars here. Um, now We're assuming RPG. It's probably an RPG, but um, this is interesting because uh, I don't know where I got it. I think I've had it for a very long time. It probably belonged to my sister, honestly. I just kind of wound up with her games sometimes. Um, but this, this, is, uh, this is interesting because not only do I have no idea what the fuck this is, but also, this doesn't know what the fuck it is, because I was thinking to myself, okay, let me check the back of the box to see if, you know, there's any screenshots or anything. So I flip it around, and I get this. It says the gold experience, and there's the Prince logo over here. And there's, you can't really see it in the camera, but there's this list of songs. Like, this, a is, a, list, yeah. this is a CD album or something. And now let me read out these song titles to you. <clears throat> uh, P Control. Endorphin Machine, Shh, We March, The Most Beautiful Girl in the World, Dolphin, Now, 319, Shy, Billy Jack Bitch, 
eye, and there's literally like an eye like icon. You can't really see it right there. Yeah, it's like an it's, eyeball hieroglyph. Yeah, it's like a hieroglyph of an eye. I hate you and gold. So, I don't know what so this is. Yeah, we have is, no idea what this game is. But we're going to pop it in and try it. And if that doesn't work, I have some other things on the stack over here that we can replace it with. If this winds up being something that we're probably not going to sit here and play. I only was aware of one of those options. I'm now seeing the other two. P control means pussy control. Oh, good. I'm glad. Yo, dog, I don't have one. It's apparently Prince music. I only know exactly one Prince song, so it's none of those. It's like the only one they play on the radio. I guess the guy played risque stuff. I don't know. Judging from that list, that would seem to be a fair... All I know is that Dot didn't want to uh, finger him. <sighs> I also need to know how the sound balance is, because the sound is being captured through the TV, so... Is the back cover unrelated to the front? Yes. Yeah. So the The front cover is was just printed... Oh. oh, what the fuck? Okay. Okay, I wasn't really expecting clowns. I have to say I wasn't expecting clowns. No, oh, it's P-Rod here. Holla... Paris in the fall, the last months of the year and the end of the millennium. What? The city holds many memories for me. Of cafes, of music, of love, and of death. What? Oh. I like how much darker it is there than here. Yeah, the, I'm, I've heard... I've heard the name before. I know this is a series. I don't know what it's a series of. What the hell? Oh, we got some like '90s Disney it looks like animation. Don Bluth. Yeah, it does look like Don Bluth. All right. Well, we're starting off like. Uh... Not a game. Is there, uh, is there gonna be a test on this information? Cause... Why are the credits first? Okay, usually when the credits are first in a game, that means one of two things. One, your game is supposed to be really artsy and you're trying to treat it like a movie. This doesn't look like a movie. Or, B, they wanted to put the credits first so that people could get credit before you play the game for five minutes and realize it's bad and then turn it off. Or it's like a game that doesn't have a proper ending and it's just like a do-whatever type of thing. Oh yeah, it could be. Well, I'm glad you guys tuned in for this. Uh, next time we'll uh, do Donkey Kong 64. Again. Again. But this time we'll uh, pass the controller between the two of us and also... God, it is fucking Don Bluth. It Where's is. This? Was Don was Don Bluth's names in in the credits? His name is multiple. Yeah, he has pseudonyms. Fuck this balloon! Oh, oh God. Wow. Okay. Can I help you? I mean, it's well animated. It is. But I was not expecting this from yeah. a game. Broken that has... Sword: Shadow of the Templars. Yeah, like I was expecting a ridiculously stereotypical. Like RPG, just like swords and sorcery, Middle Ages. Okay, if you were a Kong, what would your Kong name be? You don't even need to wonder that. It's uh, Big Dong Donkey Kong, which is different from just Donkey Kong. I'm the Big Dong version. All right, now that the cutscene's over, now is it going to be? Uh... I don't think the cutscene's over. I'm guessing it's going to play another cutscene because we haven't. Oh, maybe. I just not. I hope that we have that set up. <laughs> and then, like, the spiky-haired protagonist is woken up, like, oh, it's the big day, Don't, didn't you mean to meet up with your friend? And then you leave, and then your town gets attacked, and you have to get a sword. Like, okay. That's looking um, pretty smooth. As I picked myself up, all I could hear was the ceaseless drone of traffic. Excuse me. me. Where is this echo? Oh, hold on, I know where it's coming from. Hold on, wait. I think I have the solution. Just yeah, this second. definitely looks like a point and click. Just a second. 
No, that's louder. I want it quieter. Oh, do we just want it from the TV instead? I'm thinking the audio might be getting sent through the surround system. Well, first I need to know how to control the game. Oh, oh, oh. Yep. Oh, no. It's point and click. I mean, I can not that there was any doubt. Post, but it wasn't going to shed any light on the affair. <laughs> I'm switching this back. <laughs> I had to make it really, really loud in order to get that volume out of it. So what I'm going to do is turn the computer down and turn the TV back up. Oops. Yay. <laughs> that was the channel button. I can't actually see the buttons from here. So, there we go. That'll do it. Come here. Oh, shit. Uh, what is... Why am I poking a tree? With a very smoothly animated hand. Oh. Loading. I have to load to interact with that tree, I guess. I think you went in the building. Well, yeah, but... See, that was supposed to be a joke. No, you did not go in a building. Um... Oh, hold on. There was something. What is this? There was nothing of interest. Fantastic! I'm so glad they put it in the game. <laughs> I'm sorry, did I just walk into an alleyway, kick a box, complain that there was nothing to do, and then leave? There's a long-ass delay every time you click something. Yeah, it's because I can I hear the disc, the it's loaded. my fingers, but couldn't gain any leverage. There's no way I can lift that with my hands? <laughs> Let's do it to this one. <laughs> Please tell me there's an arp, like a long play of this where someone goes around and checks <laughs> everything, everything, and then after talking to a single person, goes Horror. around and talks to everybody, like checks everything again. Uh, oh, okay. And uh, I think there was no point to this area. Serena, did you just know that, or did you look that up? Working. What do you mean, Soda Dungeon 2? I'm pretty sure the game should be set as PlayStation Move Startup Menu. <laughs> Robo Poppy per commencing cheek licking, licking in progress, licking complete. Go look at this. I considered climbing the lamppost. Yeah, yeah. But. Okay, I didn't think it was the lamppost again. Alright. Hold on, I can touch something. What is this? Starts grooving. <laughs> what even is this? Is this like a, an old-fashioned dime? It's Mr. Krabs' first dime. Uh, yes? Please! Hold it, or right there. Whoa, don't shoot. I'm innocent. I'm an American. Well, of course. Can't make up your mind, huh? I demand to see the American consul. Drop your weapons and get down on the ground. Put that thing away, Sergeant Moo. Sergeant Moo. I apologize, monsieur, but I cannot permit you to leave. Am I under arrest? Ah, uh, no. I would simply like to ask you some questions. En avant, to the cafe, marche. Marche. So, okay. All right. A Yo Mama joke? I forgot. That's so funny, I forgot. Yeah, but, um... So would you say, the graphics are too poor to tell. I'm just gonna... What a mess. This bombing is an outrage, is it not? What? Stop that, monsieur! Stop holding your breath at once! What? 
Yes, that's French. These kids are speaking, I but they're not French. They're dead. American. Move. We oui, monsieur, but I prefer to look on the bright side. Besides, I recall a case where the killer escaped by feigning death. However, in this case, the man is quite dead. Clearly, the killer knew of his presence and. How many times have I warned you about premature extrapolation? Yeah, I know. I hate that All premature we know extrapolation. Is that he is dead. It's a real serious problem. It seems is there just like a maid kneeling a over there? Yeah, I don't know what that is. Nothing. Take Maigret, for instance. But but I have an observation. This conversation is going Why? on for ages. No more real than Poirot or That's a different move. They were comedy Belgians. Well, yeah, comedy Belgians. Anyway, you know, it those is comedy unlikely Belgians. that even you will learn much from talking to the dead. Examine the girl and take her statement. Oh, I guess can. she's alive. She's not moving. <laughs> a little stuttering in there. Hey, maintenant, to business. I don't know any French, so these little expressions are just going... Uh, everything that they're saying is either baguettes or snails. Your name, please? What is my name? George Stobart. I'm from California. Oh. I don't I remember being you to Paris, George Stobart from California. Stobart. Travel. I'm touring Europe. You chose well. The city is most beautiful at this time of year, no? I'm going to say no, because uh, yeah, it's blown up. I guess so, but apart from the bomb blasts. Were you in the vicinity of the cafe at the time of the explosion? Yeah, I was sitting out on the sidewalk. I was lucky I wasn't killed. The inspector passed over my remark with no reaction. Thank you. Did you see the deceased enter the cafe? Oh, oh, I get a choice now. <laughs> but, uh... I don't remember seeing this, so... There there was not an explosion in the intro, was there? No, there was. Was there? I, th oh. I think it ended with an explosion. Oh, but... Okay. I don't know. No. Did you see anyone else in the cafe? Uh, my options here are down fist or clown. <laughs> I'm gonna go with clown. Yeah, there was a guy dressed as a clown. Also known as a clown. He was carrying an accordion. An accordion? Bon. Is there the a difference between a clown and a person dressed as a clown? And it is not a pretty one. Is the girl alright, Moo? No, she hasn't moved at all. <laughs> She'll leave. She confirms the American statement. A clown with an accordion, no doubt an elaborate and eccentric disguise. Turns out you've already Very lost well. the game. You were supposed to lie. Maybe. I have Maybe. heard enough. Could be. Or what you, you were mean? supposed to, like, hit that cat I am with satisfied a boot that you know nothing. You may leave. Wow, you gotta hit me right I there. This Don't know a damn does thing. not spoil the rest of your vacation. What about my personal safety? Can't you at least give me some advice? What can I say? Stay alert and look out for suspicious characters. Immediately that one and don't cross the road the just until up. the little man shows green. Great advice. Well, what the fuck were you I expecting? I believe you are in no You ask these police should you remember what you anything should do to ensure your own safety. Me? My card. They're gonna give you general purpose advice. It's not like it's not like you narrowly escaped assassination or something. Thanks. You. That is all. You, may you go. watched a cafe explode. That's... There's not much to go on, monsieur. On the surface, no. On the a surface. lurks inside the subconscious. If the door can only be opened. Is it too loud? Are you serious, monsieur? I, can I thought your interest in psychic detection was purely academic. <laughs> academic? You are about to witness. A scientific this is going to be the last time that the uh, volume is adjusted because he's kind of dying. Plus, Josh got, just got front row seats to my ass, and that's not out entirely flattering. Ugh. Ugh.
<laughs> why, <laughs> why do we stop? <laughs> I can never tell when I have control. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, game. Who are you? What's with the stuttering? Excuse me, mademoiselle? Hi, my name Hi. is George Stobart. Oh, an American by the sound of it. Yeah, that's right, on holiday in Paris. I would imagine an American in Paris is probably huh? not very you uncommon. You were here when the bomb went off? Sure was. Sat right out front of the cafe. Did you notice a middle-aged man, maybe 60, with an hat and overcoat? I couldn't believe it. She hadn't even asked how I was feeling. Yeah, he went inside just before what the bomb exploded. Well, I didn't get to choose on this one. I wanted to choose between oh, no, down or like clown. I am or maybe the Manifico. choice I'm was down to clown, down to clown. yeah. Uh, no, it is a newspaper. What, just because she's reporter. female, she's got to be I'm working at a nightclub? What the hell? Say, you can interview me about the bombing. You know, an eyewitness account. Minutes after the outrage that shook the whole of Paris. Dude. You know, real life drama, human interest, that kind of stuff. You need to I stop was upset. not, uh, yeah, yeah. I, I, I definitely wasn't you expecting this type of wrong? game with that title, but, I know it uh, crazy, I also was not expecting anywhere near this amount of dialogue. Yeah. Oh, like, it's I mean, it's obviously the point of the game. I can't really fault it for that, but, like, goddamn. I mean, I do like the voice acting. This does seem to be a well-assembled game. I'm sorry. All right, so the what choice is, this? is uh, Garden Hose, Clown, um, a mobster with no face, uh, some lady at a three-quarters angle, and the Wizard of Oz. <laughs> uh, this is, like, flow from the insurance commercials. I'm going to say Clown. I, I, I Have you think met Garden the Clown Hose. before? It's a long story. I have plenty of time. No, I don't! I don't. Good. Well, if you don't have time, then I'd better skedaddle. Again, I hope. Adieu, monsieur. Butt flow. I like butt flow. What is butt flow? That's a uh, fake pharmaceutical from Munch's Odyssey. I considered straightening the table. But I figured it best not to disturb the evidence. I consider Why? just going over here and fucking with stuff. <laughs> Why give me the option? Excuse me, Sergeant. You are the inspector. Go on, monsieur. Um, did, you not, monsieur. did you not hear me earlier when you I mentioned him that the garden hose. I don't live here? Oh, hey, I, I can ask him about the garden hose. I'm going to do just that. See you later, Sergeant. Bye. Ugh, the stuttering. Okay, well, I tried to go down this street before, and it wouldn't let me, so I'm gonna try again. You need to go through, uh... Unin or what was the game that I was just whistling the song from? That's Shadowgate. Yeah, I wanted to call it Uninvited for some reason. I have Shadowgate. On my computer. Oh yeah, was, you have that, like, remake one, right? Yeah, I have the remake. Which has the original version in it, I think. So, this is now the second time I've made this reference. I think the first time was like three or four years ago. But, um, the stutter walking is reminding me of the way the kid walks at the beginning of that, like, Indian Nickelodeon commercial where he teaches the classroom to dab. Oh, yeah, Hi. I forgot about that. Can you spare a few minutes? Got the cool clothes and I attitude. You'd be arrested. New hat, nah, moves makes dab. When he pulled that gun, gah, I thought that was it. Yeah, getting up. Those automatics were quite a bunch, you know? He made a mistake. He thought I was a terrorist. You? A terrorist? Ha! He was only doing his duty, this, I guess. This is one of those games where the protagonist is just going to be insulted constantly, isn't it? I gotta go. Don't let me keep you! I'm getting the sense of that, definitely. Also... Oh, okay. I guess it's not anymore. I thought the game was stuttering literally every time this dude finished his animation, but it stopped doing that. I can go in here, I guess. I'm just gonna hurry myself right on the door over there. Security locked. Oh, good. Okay. Oh, so it's, it's locked. It's locked. I guess it's I won't locked. bother it's the door. It's locked. Yeah. I think this little this little fast walk I have. So, 
here's something I- oh. Oh, oh, oh. <coughs> okay. So, I'm now getting, like, Phantasmagoria vibes from this. Go to the Dreaming Tree. Where is the Dreaming Tree? It's in a different game. I can go to the police. I'm gonna go to the police. Where are we going, little buddy? Yeah, I'm getting Phantasmagoria vibes from this. So, uh, this is the question I'd like an answer to. Does this game have a PC version? Or is this the only version of the game? Because also, what the hell does it have to do with the sword? I don't know. I would assume that that becomes evident much later. Oh, what? Hold on, what is this now? What is this? Uh, but what is ID it? ID or a passport. I don't know. I like how apparently pressing square puts the cursor right there. Uh, well, I didn't have this before. Why do I suddenly have a passport now? If that's what it is. None of the buttons do anything, so I just have no idea what this thing is. Here, do you, do you want this thing? Excuse me. That's it. Local yeah. class, I'd like your personal details, please. Huh? What for? In the event of an accident. It would help us to know where to send the body. Look, is this body. really necessary? I came in here to talk to Rosso. Oh, why did you not... No, I came in here to give you this, like, it's tin of Altoids I have in my card. pocket. Well, did you get... Oh. He gave it to it's me. It's apparently the inspector's Why? card. I think he was impressed with my powers of observation. Oh my god, shut up. He asked me I hate the protagonist. It I does have a PC I release? See. Why on you earth did they put it on the PS1 then? Because this seems like this would be better with a mouse. This seems like this doesn't go on this system. What? It was also apparently on GBA. Oh my god, why? Oh, why would they do that? <laughs> um, Number one way to make a game worse, yes. put it on the GBA. I certainly see what's happening here. I walked over to what I thought was a payphone, and I got an envelope. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm satisfied with that. I talk more than George. No, I don't think so. Even if that was true. I'm running a stream. What's he doing? He's fucking trying to show off to every single person he runs across in the street of Paris. Show off things he doesn't even have. That's good. The crusty GBA voices would definitely be uh If there are even our voices. I assume the game is too big to, like, have voices. Yeah. I thought this guy they said just I have could the do like Mario and Luigi way. like fake babbling. Fake babbling. I have not unlocked a new location. I feel like that guy like I I, I said I wanted to talk to someone. He was like, "Okay, you can do that." Um but I don't see a way to exit this room. If I should, if I were to eat this fruit, it would be both fastid, fastidious and. Let me talk to you again. I have a feeling I'm not done with you. Hi, it's me again. Again? Yes, I spoke to you earlier, like five uh, seconds we? ago. Yeah, I'm that was you. five seconds. <laughs> uh, hey, what do you have to say about uh, blue overalls, dude? Is Sergeant Moo available? What? You want to speak to him? Yes, please. I cannot recall the last time someone has to speak to Moo. No one oh, ever no. speaks to him. Not even his kids. Okay. Hey, Why is the game being He's really mean to him for no reason? He is with Inspector Rosso. Like Laurel and Keaton. No, Monsieur? Hardy. Oliver Norville Hardy. Rolf Klink. <laughs> Thanks for your help, officer. Okay. Well, uh, I think that's a bust. Okay, apparently the game 
is uh, well received. Yeah, I mean, I kind of figured, given that it, you know, it has a series. Like, I know there's a two, and I'm, I figured there were more. So does it lag every time he hits the ground? Uh, no. no. It seems to just kind of do it at random He's when I first enter a screen. His loading screens are painful. Yeah. Well, like I said, that's why I was thinking, like, this is probably better as a PC game. Probably a lot better. This is probably not the right way to be playing this game. There are five games. Damn. Okay, so I can't talk to move. Or I can, but probably can't. Oh, what's this? I contemplated crawling under the umbrella and pretending none of this had ever happened. Why would you contemplate that? What, oh, Intrusive hold on thoughts. Is oh, this? Gotta grope the ground. <laughs> I gotta pinch the salt off the ground here. I'm gonna stand here for a minute while I decide to do that. The leading article referred to the visit of a Nobel Prize winner from some unpronounceable Eastern European state. Typical American. That was the only news story. The rest was rumor, gossip, and sensationalism. Then I noticed the writing at the foot of the page. Drink the milk. It read Salah ed -Din, 1345. Also, I, uh, okay. I kept saying Don Bluth earlier, but you know what this reminds me of is the Iron Giant. It has, like, the same exact, like, animation style. Let me take a look at this. Use me, on me, with me. It didn't work. Is there anything else? No, I can look at the table again. Let's see if that... Uh, oh, I didn't look at this tent. I need to look at this tent. There was nothing inside the tent except a large toolbox. Well, okay. get the toolbox. Get the toolbox. Sorry, it's too heavy. There was nothing inside the... <laughs> you can't get lift the toolbox <laughs> so the clown fucking dies. <laughs> In case you <laughs> notice, I need my medicine. <laughs> I'm dying over here. <laughs> Uh -huh. Stupid fucking song. Are you dumb or something? I said I need you to get my medicine. I still don't have a new place unlocked. Alright, let me try talking to people. I was trying to avoid it, but uh, looks like that's not particularly avoidable. the hell is kid me? Uh, here, we'll, we'll talk to this guy. Oh, never mind. I'm... Wow! Wow, I'm a fucking moron. <laughs> okay, never mind. Pretend what I didn't say want? that. <laughs> the way that kid me was capitalized, I thought that was an actual person. Never mind. Did you see an old guy with a briefcase? Wait, silly old Wait. Kid. Do you know what he said to me? Work fascinates me, he says. I could watch it all day. Can't beat it. I could have knocked this block off! God damn it. Did he just call him a bitch? It was unnecessary capitalization. It confused me. Did you see a clown come by this way? A clown? Like, in a circus? Yeah, with makeup and a big red nose. Ho! Oh, those guys are funny, aren't they? Not in my experience. I love the circus, especially the <laughs> horses! I love the you circus. Have question. Have you seen a clown? You think I've got time to watch everyone who passes by? Yeah. Some of us have to work for a living. So I'm liking French strong go. bad here. <laughs> Don't let me keep you. <laughs> you ever try to like dig a hole? That crap is hard, man. Our main character spends a lot of time looking at a rotating penny. Yeah, apparently. Hey, you're okay, Marty. 
That lady's gone. Yeah, she Excuse me, Sergeant. Mom. Please go away, Monsieur. No. I'm gonna ask about the flow. Did you notice the young woman who was here earlier? The girl with the camera? Yes, Monsieur. She works for one of the newspapers. Did you see where she went? She has gone on to develop her snapshots. She took one of me, you know. She said mine was the kind of face that makes great pictures. She did? Oui. I have great depth of character. That's okay. what she told me. Now the game's she trying to dress. I don't know what this no, monsieur, is. But I have a telephone number. 15 48 26 17. Thanks. That doesn't she said sound to call like a phone in a few number. Days when the photographs are ready. I thought I'd take the best Damn shot it, I didn't want that clip. and use it for personalized Christmas cards. Great idea, Sergeant. I'm sure your family and friends will... Sounds like more like a family. safe code. I was one of the last people to see the victim alive, Sergeant. Well, at least I recognize that, that mistake worry? like immediately. Yes, it does. You pointed out that stake like just kinda, like that. I owe it to him to find his killer. That is best left to the authorities, monsieur. Did he speak to you? Tell you anything? No. He just grinned and nodded. Don't let it trouble you, monsieur. Go on and try to forget. I really did see the clown. He ran into the alley across the street. Oh, did you follow him? I lost him. I figured he went underground. underground Do you know how many kilometers of sewers there are beneath this great city? The most it's beautiful not a sewers in the world are in Paris, France. I have <laughs> no doubt that Inspector Rousseau will organize a proper search. I'm definitely Look getting... at that woman. She has large breasts. <laughs> How did you and Rousseau arrive at the scene of the explosion so quickly? You arrived within minutes. Was it a tip-off? Inspector Rousseau's sources are a perpetual mystery to me, Monsieur. He's being paid off! There are some who say he has made a pact with the devil. Who the, what? what do you think? Who the fuck say? I think he is the devil. What the fuck? Okay. See you later, Sergeant. Uh, alright. Um, I'm definitely getting the sense that this is probably not a game I need to be playing right now. Because it's going to be very, very long. We're not going to get anywhere. Mm -hmm. I think this is the wrong version of this game to be playing. And, um, it doesn't really offer a lot of time to, like you know, crack jokes and stuff, because I kind of need to be paying attention to what they're saying, because I'm already kind of lost, because I wasn't paying attention to what they're saying. So I'm going to stop this, and maybe play this, or look up a playthrough of it or something later, because I am interested. It's just not a very good streaming game, I'm thinking. Especially not blind. So, instead of that, we have Croc in my ass. Which is a game that I remember being one step above Bubsy 3D, basically. Yeah, that's pretty much right. I played it when I was a kid once, and I didn't beat it. I don't remember how far I got into it. <clears throat> Sorry that you got hit with a rocket. Oh, I probably should have reset the system before I did that. Whoops. <laughs> Oh, we're just doing hop swapping with discs. I know. We'll keep the Broken Sword program loaded, but have it load data from Croc, and we'll get a point-and-click mystery starring a crocodile. Alright, I'm Croc. It says here, look for Croc 2, coming soon. Was there a Croc 2? No, I don't I don't, I don't think... I've never heard of it. Here, we're playing... Uh, this is what it looks like. It's a, it's a game that was originally meant to be a Yoshi game, and then they had to change it. He's uh, staring daggers into your soul there. Challenge. Home of challenge pissing. <laughs> That's right, challenge pissing. How does it work?
I hope you like tank controls. What the fuck do you mean? Yeah. What? Like I said, Bubsy 3D. Why is... Okay. What? Fox made this? What the hell? Or at least it had something to do with it? Good. Oh, wow, yeah. There he is. There's Croc, and uh, he's looking pretty uh, spaced out. Okay. I, uh, I have no input on this. It's loading periphery. That's an ant man. Them's ants. I'm sorry, what? Why is this... Is that... Does that, like, cradle have... Okay. I think the cradle itself had eyes. Stock ass sound yeah. effects. Good. I think those were in DK sixty four. Yeah, a sign of a good game. Oh. Oh. We're big now. Okay. I can see we've got PS one uh, texture warping. Yeah, or, like just geometry warping in general. Oh my. That. Yeah. That was about right. It's nasty and orc. What about this, uh, Ganasty Ganork character? Is the game too loud? Oh my god, here, I'll get it this time. I don't want you to die. I mean, I would have been able to do it eventually, it was just taking me a while. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm sure that sounds good. <laughs> what the fuck are Croc's adopted family? Well, according to chat, apparently, uh, hairy testicles. No, they're the things from the uh, the game that came in a like box of Captain Crunch back in the late nineties. I like this kind of happy, peaceful music. Sounds like you're going through like a Wonderland while we're watching people get thrown in prison and like have tyranny enforced upon them. That is a very responsive menu. Holy shit. What options do we have? Controller setup, audio option. I don't care about any of that. Why on earth would I want to see that again? <laughs> because that cutscene doesn't have tank controls. <laughs> Wait, why would I- I haven't started the game, how- why- what? Why would I save it? Gotta get that password for level one. Oh yeah, that's right, this doesn't use the memory card, does it? It uses a password system. It mentioned, like, save stuff on the options. I'm sorry, what were those attack noises? Okay. I will just never stop doing that now. Oh. So this is a collectathon where I'm collecting the testicles. Alright, that's good. Um, and yeah, I'm now seeing the tank controls. It's not. It's. It's tank controls, but it's not. Oh, good. It's not like. It's it's not as limited as tank controls normally are because like I can I can jump side to side and stuff like this is more fluid than like Tomb Raider, but uh, Tomb Raider also wasn't really a platformer exactly. So okay, so what? That's that's what I'm trying to find. Oh, well, I found the turn 180 button. Uh, not. I'm not seeing a way to... I don't know why the bit rate is shit rate. It shouldn't be. 
I can't actually see if we're dropping frames. We uh, no, we have never dropped frames, so yeah, it should be fine. Uh, I'm I'm trying as hard as I can, but there's no ground pound. Or I just don't have it yet, so... Uh, this thing looks like this is supposed to not be here, but I, again, don't have a ground pound, so I'm just gonna have to not... Oh, okay. good. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, oh. oh, yeah. Okay. That's not... The hardest thing to do in any game is walk on a straight line. <laughs> That's the sign of a great game, is if you can't... If you struggle to walk on a straight fucking line. This game doesn't look bad. I mean, let's give it some time, shall we? Let's... 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 Let's wait a little bit before we call that one. <laughs> Here's, uh... Swallow walking. <laughs> it's, it's, that's, uh, what I'm, let me try the analog. I started with the analog and I didn't like it because, yeah, it kind of, I don't like it when analog sticks try to just simulate a D-pad because it, it doesn't really, oh, oh, okay. Yeah, I'm seeing depth perception issues here. How about, uh, death perception? Death perception. I, I definitely get the sense I should be able to ground pound, and I don't know how to do it. Because the game ain't taught me shit. I feel like I should be able to use these boxes. Probably. Oh. Oh. What? Okay. Alright. Uh, can I can I go back to that? I can. And so the adventure begins. Not not that I want to. Fascinating loading screen. I mean, you know, it's more than a lot of PS1 games had. But uh, it's better than a slowly spinning coin. Okay. I have a feeling this is where we're gonna be stuck. I am now obligated to figure out what the fuck. Oh, I found it. It's apparently you jump in the air and then you hit. Okay, you hold X again. Okay. Unfortunately, Yoshi can't read. That looked about right. What is this? Can I just... No. Can I do this? No. Can I push this? Okay, okay. why am I sliding on the I like wall? the aggressive snapping, holy shit. Dude. Yeah, the, the controls are bad. I'm not liking the directional input on this, not one bit. Well, here's a key. I'm turning off the analog, because that, that just doesn't... that's not helping. Yes? Can I help you? Uh, I think a crab respawned. Oh, oh, look! We have, we have the Tomb Raider sidestepping. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Glad we have the uh, Sonic drops all of his rings system here. Yeah, that's good. Oh man! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Why is this the control scheme? I don't know what that something. Yeah, I don't know what that actually did. Oops. What is that over there? A hootin' Balus. How do I get to the Baloos? Oh, there's a door. Okay. I did it. I'm uh, definitely seeing the underground part of this. Not so much the overground. Also, I see we took lessons from Mario in uh, having our second level be underground. Well, it starts. Really it starts over ground. We go in a pipe, and now we're underground. Except for this. This is different. Again, to to be fair, this was literally supposed to be a Yoshi game. Oh, okay. 
that checks out. Oops. I fell in tomato soup and lost all my shit. Because apparently you can't move fast at all if you're going backwards. I'm liking that little uh, back and forth. <laughs> yeah, it, it looks pretty good. There's the end of the level, I guess. It wasn't much of a level. Okay, so you have to collect all five of the gems to go in that door? Is that what I'm saying there? Wait, what? There's like five colored gems on this door. Where the fuck were the other three? I didn't realize that there were unique gems. I had been noticing that some of them were like... Uh, not the uh, rainbow color. Okay. Let's, let's... Oh, shit. Okay. That seems good. No, I was correct, and then I burped really loud. <laughs> Always good when I crack my foot and I look up at the mic audio like bar and I just see it spike like that. Like, nice. Sponge Boy Me Bob, where the fuck is me hentai collection? I, I would snap along to this song, but I cannot snap. Okay, I don't see anywhere else. There was like an upper area at the very beginning, but I don't know how you were meant to get up there. That could be what that leads to. I see this butterfly that came out of a box. I don't seem to be able to do anything with it. Also, I feel like I was bigger than this in the opening cutscene. Let's throw that out there. I feel like I, I love I feel my like brother to get so big. And the piece of cheese and sandwiches. I guess that's the noise of an enemy respawning, is what that is. Yeah. I like how I'm just not able to snap. Well, I don't like it. I judge you as a person based on your ability to uh, bust out a rhyme on your fingers. need to revisit this stage. Because uh, we're going to have these, uh, these fall there. You want to try that one again? I was going to say we're going to have this false notion of 100%ing. Because <laughs> clearly we're yeah. sticking with this game. Oh yeah, we're definitely going to 100% this. Shouting lava, lava, lava. <laughs> Did we hear the new earthworm jam? <laughs> I, uh, I can't really whistle. I kind of can a little bit. I can whistle pretty well. But not, not with correct notes or anything. Oh, this is looking like fresh hell. I see what it wants me to do. What is, what is this? Is this like a landmine? This looks like a landmine. I guess we'll keep that there. Time for uh, elevating for eight red coins over here. <laughs> I was thinking more like shocking arrow left. But uh, yeah, both are pretty accurate. And I guess that's all it did. It wasn't very uh, wasn't very inspiring. What is this? Yes. You what? found a secret bonus point. Meanwhile. No time. No time. Go. Go. There's no time go. to waste. Oh, oh shit. no, the worm. I got touched by that? Somebody touched by your spaghetti. The lack of ability to move side to side kind of sucks, I'm gonna have to say. Oh, okay, and yeah, it's, that's me jumping too late, I guess. Was not expecting it to restart you here. I thought it was gonna throw you back to the moon. Yeah, I kind of assumed so too, but uh, here we are. Bam! I don't know how I'm supposed to hit these things. Welcome to bonus stage. Was that it? Was it just for some? Congratulations, you won the mile. Just for some rings, huh? Your secret. All right, jump on the landmine. I got it. Okay.
Okay, but now I need now I know I need to look out for little sparkling shits. I think I saw a video about not a long or not a long I might have said. Not a long. What was a good impression? What impression did I do? Oh. Let's Here we are. Uh, three shell Monty. Oh goodness. Okay, that was a little bit. Fast, I, I think, think it's metal. Three card Monty! <laughs> Sorry. What was that? Uh, that was Phalus making fun of Leonardo from the Ninja Turtles. Oh, you mean when I did Welcome to Bonus Stage? I'm sorry. Why are we in Creepy Castle now? Yeah. Was Creepy Castle for a minute. Man, those things respawn. Yeah. Honestly, the fact that they respawn at all while I'm still in the room kind of sucks. But uh, here we are. And they're kind of loud. Also, what are they? I think they're supposed to be rats. They have like creepy skull faces. Is there anything else I need to know about? Yes. A bunch of shit up there. Is there just the Eye of Sauron up there? What is that? There's a platform that goes up and down. I see that's that. Just a, I think that's just a lock. Oh. The uh, graphics were that, too poor to that, tell. That lock is looking a little sinister, I'm gonna have to say. Mm -hmm. It's okay, in the first level there was a, uh, one of those question mark boxes. You walked up to it, like, at an angle, and somehow viewing the corner of the block with, like, the question marks visible on two sides, it actually looked like a really creepy face for a second, and it, like, caught me off guard. And then I had to take a second to, like, analyze what it was. Woo! Okay. <laughs> What is this? No! Why would you ever want to, what? Maybe the, does the game have fall damage? Oh god, does it? I mean, it, it probably does, I just didn't think about it. Let's find out. No. Not in here at any rate. So why is it there? Uh, judging the... Of, and the from, music's just gone. Yeah. Judging from the types of Yoshi games that actually did get made, I would say that uh, this would probably not be a very good one. Without the tank controls, it would still be pretty generic. Yeah, I'm, I'm not getting... However, uh, however, he does have a backpack, so clearly this was the inspiration behind Banjo. To safely avoid the rats? But that it balloon dumps you, off dumps you right into them. I'm just kind of... I'm thinking, like... How am I supposed to break the... Oh. Hello? Hello there! I'm just gonna grab this. And this. And this. Don't touch me! Can I go in here? No. I don't know. There's some sort of, like, fleshy pink trampoline in here, and I'm, uh, I get the feeling I need to kill this thing. Eh. Eh. Oops. Get out here and let me kick your ass. Uh, okay, I get the impression I cannot kick his ass. Time to leave. Oh, this isn't going to be tedious at all. Video games! Didn't really have much of a reason for saying that, but no. Don't know what to do. Kazoo! Well, that was, uh, that was good. Aggressive snapping. Did I 
go down this? I don't think I did. Two seconds of outdoor music. <laughs> Now we have uh, this music. Oh yeah, this was the room with the. I had the uh, three card Monty. Oh yes. Meanwhile, I'm bleeding. Actually. I'm sorry. How am I supposed to get back? Um, well, wasn't there another way to go? The, the delay oh yeah, that's right. There was. There was another. at the uh, upper ledge. Not that I saw. Okay, I'm not really oh, sure what that button is to. It is a platforming game after all. Are these programmers great? Well, we got all the colored gems. I like how the last two were just kind of sitting here. Yeah. Don't touch me, right. fucker. What, kind of, what is the great reward? This is going to be three card money again. It's looking like it. Yeah, what is this? Oh. What the hell is this? Okay, this is like... This is the weirdest version of, like, Pop the Weasel that I've ever seen. Whack the rat. Why? Why am I doing this? Because fuck shape. And also, I can't really jump side to side that well. Yeah. No. So doing it's kind of obnoxious. This is reminding me of the fucking golden banana in Frantic Factory with the burping Kremlings, except sheep noises. Wow. Okay. That was not worth it in the slightest. Be oh. one layer of the feeble. I would, I would say, say Gex. yeah, Gex probably has more of a chance because uh, this is. Uh, is that a hand? Is that hand? Oh, okay. <laughs> but why? I like how it has a star on its belly. He's not a very menacing uh, bad guy here. He doesn't seem to do much. Oh. Oh. Elevate for eight red points. <laughs> yeah. Well, except this is a little easier to control than that, honestly. Yeah, I was trying to think what those things were called, the things from the Dr. Seuss story. Thing one and thing two. Well, no. <laughs> star, star belly snitches are going away. So I know someone made a YouTube clip of that. Oh. Eggs! Eggs! And ham and eggs. eggs. Yum! Yum! Skulls make bad medicine. As usual, I will, uh, I will make the statement that there's nothing wrong with being racist. You can't say that. That's racist. Okay, for some reason, the background here looks like the frickin' Sonic 4 on Super Nintendo. I'm not getting the, uh, really, like, upbeat, happy music as I'm having a boss fight. Yeah. I mean, it's a pretty unimpressive boss, to be fair, but yeah. Sure, but, you know, let's do better than 
generic oh, shit good. number five. I didn't realize you actually lost all of your gems when you got charged. Yeah, you it, 50 and it, it only dropped 10. It, it seems to be uh, the, the Sonic rules so here. this was basic? Oh. oh. Oh, no no death animation or anything. I touch him, done. He's, wow. just, he's just done. Fucking critical failure. Wham. No time for that shit. It almost looks like a Hideo. I take a lot of generic shit. That's just, that's Dan Teeny. Hail Gianvia. Was it? Hell, it was a uh, Hail Givamba. Captain Beefy. Jorm Lowe. Also, I'd like to point out that one of those gems turned into the red gem, so apparently they can just hide inside where you want. Oh, that's obnoxious. Oh, hello. And that seemed, uh, fair. Who are you? Where did you come from? Space. Eh, we'll probably switch to a different game soon. Oh, look, maybe we're switching to a different game right now. I immediately have a problem with this. I don't see what I'm supposed to do. This is nothing. There's a box. Hmm. I can't reach My it. My favorite part of any game, when you just reach the wall that you can't climb. Is there a way to, like, do a... Kazoo. I can't... I have a key. Was there something that took a key? I, d I didn't remember seeing anything. Good. I don't see anything. Oh, well, there's a box up there. I'm not... Yeah, I don't see a way to reach that. Can you climb those, uh... Strange-looking things? Oh, shit. Apparently I can. I would not have guessed this. That's, uh... That's weird. Thank you, Frylock, for all you do for television. Our children are learning from you. It does kind of sound like one star Halloween music, you're right. Round two. So, is there a point to the regular gems? It seems to be the same as rings, just, you know, life insurance. But you only really need one. Or ten, as the case may be. Stock uh, oatmeal drinker. What was it? A uh, roll of quarters being dumped into a tub of oatmeal. Guys. Roll of quarters being dumped into a tub of oatmeal. Excuse me. Yeah, it's a stock sound effect. That's an extremely specific sound effect. Let's not nice, push the door. Nice, Let's nice go through device. the door. gem door down there, and the level exit. I assume this balloon takes you over there? Yeah, with the door you just passed by. I don't know what this does. Is it going to be three card Monty? Unfortunately. It looks like more of the same. I'm noticing, uh... Repetition? Yeah. I'm seeing a little bit of lack of variety here. 
Makes me wonder if, like, the game will eventually get more mechanics, like this, uh, you know, shocking arrow lifts thing here, but, uh... I don't know if I want to play it long enough to find out. Think of all the children who got this game for their birthday at like a bowling alley at some point, like April 1998. They got stuck with that as their only video game. Well, so these things that I'm saving are like Jinjos in that they don't really appear to be in danger. They're just kind of standing there and waiting for me to come touch them. It might be implied that you're like putting them in your backpack or something. What is this Crash Bandicoot bullshit? Looks like, oh my god, they're not, I only get to pick one? It might have been a thing where you can like slam one and grab onto the next. Oh, maybe. Well, I fucked it up. When am I going to put down this game and make out with you? Uh... Cave of Fear. When you give me uh, the uh, cover charge. I think I'm done with this, honestly. Let's see what else we got. Oh wait, hold on. I have to get my level password. Because, oh. Oh, it's Riddler-lud. <laughs> Good. Allows level access only. Okay, so then how do you actually save? Does it save to a memory card? Yeah. Uh, no, that is false. There is a memory card in slot one. It's just a PS2 memory card. That's okay. I'm not too concerned about my save game on that one. I would like to see Spider-Man on the PS1. I played this, the N64 version of this game, and to my knowledge, there's only one difference between this version and the N64 version. And that is that uh, the N64 version doesn't have the cutscenes. That's it. So, how are you supposed to know what the fuck's going on in the game? The answer is, uh, you, you don't. You just don't. Because it was well thought out. Hail Givania forever. Oh no, I'm almost in frame, oh my god. More like cock. <laughs> I hope this game lets you uh, web sling across the air. There were some rendered cutscenes, but there's also, uh, like, those don't really. Like, you just kind of go from level to level with no real. Like, there's no fluidity. Fluidity. There's. I don't know. Like, I remember seeing this. Oh. Like, there was a speed run of this. Text. And, uh... Yeah, this is definitely the N64 one, just... <laughs> just no more of that. Get to the bank! Input name? You know what my name is. Do, 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 spider man gadget do, 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 do. what oh does it censor you holy shit I think it censored me <laughs> <Lob>. <laughs> well let's try this then oops nope it recognizes that one. <laughs> lost <laughs> okay no we're, we're gonna go with um go with dick that's an actual name Oh, that's true. I wonder if it'll... I wonder if it'll object to that. Oops. No, it didn't object to that one. Continue not available. Hit 
Meth. Oh. Oh, that actually sounds different than the N64 version. I remember the N64 version goes, Kid Mode. Kid Mode. A little bit more like that. Kid Mode. Kid Mode. Kid Mode. Uh, the N64 version also didn't have different ones. Kid Mode. Kid Mode. Why are there like four or five different voice clips? What the hell? I don't know. And they play when you hover Kid over mode. it. That's weird. Technology is the light that will cut through yeah, this the darkness. was when not in the N64 version. A single truth, a truth based in technological progress on scientific method, they will be unstoppable. I, Dr. Otto Octavius, bow as a Watch scientist and businessman, that mm -hmm. my duties to humankind will be fulfilled. Thank you. Is he supposed to be, like, German? I didn't, I didn't think he was, yeah. but maybe he is. Oh, who is this? Uh, that is... Is that supposed to be Peter Parker? Chet, you betcha. Just keep shooting, Eddie. I think that's Bruce. Like, uh, or no, not his name's not Bruce. His name is um, what is it, Eddie? The guy who becomes Venom. I actually don't know what I think about this. Spiderman. Spiderman. What's he doing? Eddie Brock, yeah, that's his name. Who's Eddie Brock? Who's immediately? <laughs> tells, tells me he, He's stealing Octavius's device. No, he sees me. My camera! No. My camera! No! No. Also, wow, that's that's a pretty big it's thing over. to hear. It's all over. I blew it again. I can hear Jameson's voice already. Brock, you loser! If I had given a real photographer that job, I would finally have the evidence to send Spider-Man away forever. You're through, Brock. When I am done with you, you won't be able to get a job. I feel like this didn't need to go on this long, given that the N64 version just didn't have any of this. End was fine. Oh, okay. I guess we're just getting Venom now for no reason. Okay. Oh, boy. All right. Is... Is is that how uh, Venom started? He was just standing there, and he just became corrupted. Okay, that's... That's about right. No, I'm, I'm skipping this. It's going on for too long. Okay, I gotta stop doing that song. Wall Street Crashes. Welcome, true believers in New Oh boy. This is where the N64 version started. Stan Lee here. Once again, we find our hero Peter Parker, better known around the world as the Amazing Spider-Man and an Ipatrumpet. But this is just the beginning, Spidey fans. So get ready for a new superhero. Stan Lee, apparently. Packed to the brim with thrills and chills, twists and turns. More super villains than you can shake a web at, and of course, Stop web slinging, wall crawling, action! Thank you. Hey, Spider. Hey, Hello. Jack. What's going on? Okay. I know there's been some trouble, Tets. but the bank's being robbed, and they've got hostages. And they have use your hostages. spidey compass to get to the bank quickly. New York. Thanks, Cat. Now, the N64 version had an analog hey, stick. Come over here. This one doesn't. When a building is close enough, you can swing to it. Press the jump button and then press and hold the R2 button while in the air to swing. Okay. Which one is the jump button? Why did you say jump and then R2? The bank. Yeah, I'm working on it. Yep, you can web swing off of the air. Yeah, that's right. You can. You can also punch. Can you just do that infinitely? Oh, not the punch. <laughs> Uh, no, it, you lose height as you do it, so, like, if you just keep doing it, eventually you'll, like, hear them. It's tingling. Oh, okay, in that it's case, it'll work, but... It, no, you can't just do it forever, it won't work. Also, ooh, ooh, ooh. The building is, uh, experiencing heat syncope. <coughs> Okay, 
that's not really where I wanted to go, but it's where I ended up. I'm sorry, what? Why did we just get... Oh, is it this guy? Get out of here. He's dead. He's dead as shit. I haven't figured out how to use my web weapons yet. Oh, apparently triangle. Why wasn't this a video? Yeah, maybe. I guess it was just too recent. He played a jig. Oh, <laughs> and he's gone. Did he fall through the ground? Uh, it looked like it, but I suspect not. Oh. And again, this cutscene, not in the N64 version. So you touch the building, and then it just next level. Wow, that does not look good. Yeah, I remember this. Yeah, so the police are now after me. Or maybe not the police. I don't know. There's helicopters after me. They weren't in the last level, and they're just suddenly in this one, and there was no explanation for this. shot down those police choppers. Yeah, just my luck. I'll probably get blamed for that, too. Yeah, see, he says a line like that, and you're like, what do you mean you'll get blamed for that, too? Why are you getting blamed for anything? Because we didn't have the intro cutscene where we see there's a duplicate Spider-Man running around getting up to no good. I didn't know that. That's, that's an important piece of information, son. Get off the... Hurt. These will help restore my health. Really? I'm already at full health. <laughs> oh, okay. These will restore my health. I'm already at full health. I bet I can get into the bank through the top of this building. I bet you can. Cat was right. It's the Jade Syndicate. And who are they? Why is that Robin? That maybe would have been explained in the cutscene, and I just kind of skipped it. Because I'm used to this game not having cutscenes. Okay. Oh, hello. <laughs> Why didn't she I do shoot? like how we're just straight up killing these people instead of like. We're my them punches. Them. My punches are so strong. I'm straight up disintegrating these. Hey. Yeah. Stop. I don't know what I just did. I made my hands blue. Still all right. The fuck did I do? Uh, yeah, sure. This game is progressing very strangely. Yeah, it does that. Working. Dick. 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 Kid mode. I thought it was a PS2 memory card. I swapped them when oh. I stood up. <laughs> yeah, y'all. That wasn't even a Well, oh, I hope they don't mind if I make a quick deposit on like the fact that you just took a shit off the floor. There, <laughs> that's what it like. Hey! Ooh, that's rough, but I mean, we all kind of gambled on a fart and lost at one point. Just the bank. The, what is the name of your bank? It's just the bank. We're just the only bank. What is that? What is this blue Dorito in here? Is that a guy? Oh, that's a guy. <laughs> blue Dorito. <laughs> Looks like a blue Dorito. I didn't know. Captain Beefy. Jormla. I'm just uh, up here now. Because I can do that. And the controls are all fucked up when you're up here. This pressing so I thought you should have run from your garage. Unfortunately, no. At least not while I'm on the ceiling. You do have hostages. I have to make sure they don't get hurt. Okay, well, that's fine, but... No, not now, man. What do you mean, no, not now, man? Also, what are you shooting at? There we go. Hey, why didn't you die? You have to save me! Oh, there was a dude there for a second. 
And he's gone. Oh, Just like that, no, he's gone. Please, no. An angel's kiss. <laughs> Looks like that room there controls the security doors. Find, Find a way into the room. Up. There's gotta be another Try way in. Try not to fuck it up. Oh, oh. I forgot that you could do this. That's convenient. How the fuck do you get up? Like this. Looks like these switches can open the security doors. <laughs> office 1, Office 2, Area 3. Hey! Oh. Hey! Wait, did I kill him by spraying him with web? Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Fuck this butt. You're free, dude. I'm free, dude. She's bridge area. Oh no, those guys are free. Hey, hey. 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 I guess these guys are just dead now. I feel like I'm a little OP. What is this? I can zip straight to the ceiling by pressing R1. Yeah, I already figured that one out. Sorry, why did we just get a really aggressive guitar riff? Hey! Hey! To save me! Yeah, I'm working on it. It's just I like Hey. Hey. Hostage Oh! Oh! I was working on it! Damn! And take a shit on the floor. What else do we have to look forward to in the grab bag pile? Uh there's only one more game in the list. Unfortunately, hey. I I don't have like I'm playing this physically on console, right? So I don't have a lot of uh, I don't have a lot of games to pick from here. The problem is, you know, the PlayStation had a lot of. One button allows me to target my web. If the reticle turns green, I can press R two to swing to that point. Did he say R one? No. What what button? Oh, L1, okay. That's interesting, if not a little clunky. Um, I don't feel right about this. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it might be because Spider-Man's right in your face. What do you mean, hostage loss? My God. <laughs> Asshole. Oh wait, hold on, wait. I don't think he works here. Wait, I think I know what secret. Check it out. Looks like I've got company. Yeah, that's right. He's dead. There's a secret here, isn't there? No? I thought there was a secret here. Um, so, like I was saying, I went through... I don't have a whole lot of PS1 games. I, there's... I mean, I didn't even pull out half of the stack, but... Um, the problem is, the rest of the games over there are either shitty sports games, or they're, um, RPGs. So, you know, I've got, like, I've got Final Fantasy, Chrono Trigger, uh, Legend of Dragoon, stuff like that over there. And that's not really terribly stream-appropriate stuff. I'm sorry, excuse me? Am I fucking stuck on a chair? Oh my god. Hey! <laughs> I can't see. Watch out, everyone. Spider-Man's drunk. Well, holding down the L1. Yeah, no, I know. Wouldn't wanna be ya. Wouldn't wanna be ya. Looks like that room there controls the security doors. The door is locked from the inside. There's gotta be another way in. Do I have Yu-Gi-Oh! Forbidden Memories? No, but I do have Yu-Gi-Oh! The False Bound Kingdom. Which is a very weird game, but it's also a very slow-paced game. Looks like these switches can open... Dude, I know. ...the security door. I know. Hey. Hey! <laughs> I don't know why, the way they say that. Hey! Yeah. Eh. 
<laughs> Do I have Jumpstart third grade? Unfortunately, no. Does it make you feel like you're really Spider-Man? Honestly, I do think this game is really good. Like, um, kinda, yeah. This game controls well, at least with an analog stick it does. Where'd you come from? Get out of here. Um, and it's, it's got a lot of different, like... <laughs> there's a lot of different attacks you can do. And, um, the same house the, it's, time, so it's an extremely time. varied game. My least favorite part of the game is probably the sewer level. Pick up an object by pressing punch, and I can throw the object by pressing punch again. Oh, really? Pretty cool, huh? Oh yeah, that's right. I'm just gonna lift this chair here. That looks about right. Why is it transparent? Because <laughs> when you lift objects, it does that so it doesn't obscure your vision. Because a lot of objects you can pick up are very, very big. <laughs> Fuck that chair. Fuck snow plows. And Darlene brought you an axe. Yeah, in, in seriousness, I would actually highly recommend this game. Like, this is a good game. Well, going down? I'm making fun of it because it's probably not aged very well, but. Uh, the N60. I, I don't know which version of the game you should pick. If you were going to pick one, like I said, so the N64 version, the graphics are better, the controls are a little better, and um, there's no. It's actually look pretty decent too, for PS1. I mean, for PS1, this do I, I don't know what I just did. Holy shit! I just like went nuclear for a second there. Did you um, press uh, like left B B A to release some sticky goo? I must have. <laughs> you might want to try fighting back next time. He's help dead. Me. Help me. Who's asking me for help? Have to save me. Oh, is this dude? Oh, yeah. Ow. Hey. Um. I mean, these graphics are good, but, like, I say the N64 graphics are better because you don't get the weird, like, texture warping and stuff. Right. Um. And the N64 version doesn't have the, the animated cutscenes, it only has the in-game ones. So you basically just won't get the plot, or at least you won't get most of it. Mind if I drop in? You will, however, get everything else, because all these voice clips, they're in it too. Although, I remember them being of, of lower quality than this. But everything else so far basically looks the same. I'm taking this. I'm guessing that the game uh, requires the stupid memory card. Yeah. Every game that wasn't first party apparently did. Uh, uh yeah, I think it did. hostages in a bomb. Have to be really careful here. <laughs> I was very careful. I don't think I actually had any M64 games that required the memory card. I uh, did not have a very extensive collection beyond the, like, main stuff. I did. This was one of them. Um, it wasn't the only one I had that required the memory card, though. Rayman 2 required it. Um, I guess I need to press buttons. They're messing with us. Start the timer on the bomb and take out all the hostages. No. I like how it started with two minutes and one second. Hey. Why are these guys shooting like the laser beams? The taken care of, but what can I do about the bomb? Think, Spidey, think! <laughs> Throw it at the hostages. <laughs> Fuck the bomb. Pressing punch will also allow me to pick up oh, objects. That it up. Oh, that actually did speed it up. I'm probably not, I'm probably gonna fail now. <laughs> I don't remember what you have to do with it. I think... I think I'm supposed to put it in the ele elevator. Which is, like, right over here. I set off the metal detector, unfortunately. So, like, if I do this... It opens that. Big safe. Okay, it's a safe. Alright. And I can just... That just gold. Put that in there. Yeah, I think it is. Well, you know, like they keep to, at the bank. He's about to blow up a bunch of gold. That'll be fine. 
Not this time, guys. And that's level one. Ah, where are you going? Don't run to the camera! Hell yeah, I want to save my game progress. Replace hostage situation difficulty normal with race to the bugle difficulty normal. Dick! <laughs> what do you mean, dial 911? Why are you calling me? Call 911! <laughs> Yeah, I think I think I would have been fine without that cutscene. I don't think I needed that one. Uh oh, Spidey! It established that Jonah Jameson is a fucking liar. Day one, blaming Jameson for being a stupid liar. Day two, Jameson is a fucking Spidey had better get there quickly, or JJJ may end up in the obituaries of his own paper. Why the fuck is Stanley just narrating this game? Next building is pretty far away. If I jump forward and then swing. Bet I can reach it. Okay. It wasn't that far away. Oh, I see we've got a uh, meter on the top. Yep, we have to get to Jameson before Scorpion does, is the idea. I think the timer is fairly generous. I don't think it's really that much of a threat. And uh, while I'm running around through the level, Scorpion will probably, like randomly have things to say to me. I'm waiting for him to do one. Golden. What? Golden. What did I just pick up? Get away, Gargan! Your time is running. <laughs> and I fell to my death because I couldn't see it. Your time is running out! Hey. That's always the, my favorite part, is when you uh -oh, die and it like, restarts from the beginning of a cutscene, so you just get yeah. the first couple seconds of it every time. Couldn't possibly start over from like gameplay. Well, in the N64 version, you do, because there are no cutscenes. Okay, new splash. You gotta follow the Spidey compass. I I was aware of this. Swing to the building, asshole. The compass will show me the way to the bugle. I know. You've already said what? this. What is he swinging off of? Clouds. The fucking sun. At night time. Yeah, that's right. That's what you get. I like all the stupid banter. It's good. Get away, Gargan! I like to the, uh... Running out! <laughs> um, I liked the Amazing Spider-Man movie. Uh, the one where, like, the lizard was the villain or whatever. And, uh, because, like, it, ha it had, like, the stupid banter and, like, wisecracking that Spider-Man's supposed to do, but um, judging from the Spoonie review of the sequel, um, it went a little bit too far. I think he said there's like a scene where there's like a villain basically rampaging through the street, like running over all these cars, killing people, and Spidey just kind of like breaks into his like bulldozer or whatever the fuck he's driving, and then it's like wasting time making jokes. It's like, dude, people are dying right now. <laughs> That was the movie where there was just a catwalk with no railings going above an open Listen, tank of electric eels. It's a new millennium. Lots of high tech. There may be some way we can get you out of that suit. You put me in this suit. Now I'm going to make you pay. I'm going to make you lose in other ways. <laughs> you ruined my life, so now I'll end yours. I guess we don't need to see me actually entering the building. That'd be too much. Leave him alone, Chuckles. Chuckles. But out, Webhead. Webhead. Spider-Man! 
I asked for the police, and I get this? Dude, you called me! You called me! No, he called Peter Parker to call 911. <laughs> what do you mean, where am I hiding? I was standing right in front of you. Oh, it's... You're saying where is... This guy's got quite the health bar. Yeah, and I don't. I don't really remember how to deal with this guy. Oh, shit. Don't touch me. Run away! Where am I? Oh, shit! Oh, I didn't know he knew that. Oh! Stupid desk! I'm gonna die. No. Leave him alone. Right here. I guess the strategy is he'll just periodically get bored of fighting me and go look for Jameson and I'm just supposed to, when he does this, I'm supposed to just go fuck his shit up. So far the uh, jumping around in a circle strategy seems to be the way to go. I'm sorry, did that door, like, the way it opened was not by actually just, like, sliding out of the way. Instead, it appeared to, uh, just kind of stretch and shrink as appropriate. Where are you? He's directly behind you. Stop. No more. I'm gonna fucking die, man. Where are you going? No, don't touch me, motherfucker. Get off the ceiling! Oh! Fuck my ceiling. <laughs> yeah, I'm dead. Thanks, Spider Man. Let's try that one again. Yeah, no, we know. Leave him alone, man. I'm right here. Um, I'm definitely liking the uh, strafe in the air strategy here. Ow. Apparently you do have, like, special moves. I do. I'm assuming you have no idea. I don't really know how to use them. I did that. You have seven of something. I do have some of seven of something. I think it's charges of my web meter. have an ability that heals me for some reason? That'd be cool. There, I made my fists white. I think it might have done more damage. I think it increased my damage. Yeah, I think it did. I'm out of here! I'm out of here! Look at that door. Are you Damn it. Ow. Shit. Get 
No, get off the ceiling! Oh shit! Stop it! Stop laughing. Nothing's funny here. And then just pukes. Yes, I guess. By saving my life. But it won't work. Oh, you're just too clever for me, JJ. What is going on there? there is, officers, a man behind the science expo heist. Shoot him now! Shoot him! JJ, you're on the wheel. I mean it this time. I'm sorry, what did he say? Couldn't hear him over JJ, the gunshots. JJ, you are running that wheel. <laughs> Hold it, Spider Man. I don't want to believe that you pulled off the I'm sorry. Today. They're about to make sure. Why Daredevil. are you here? I haven't got time to explain. Just tell me your side of it. I'll know if you're lying. How am I supposed to know you're the real Daredevil? What? Listen, it's true. What? Spider-Man made off with Octavius' new invention. But not the Spider-Man, not me. Somebody's framed me. Why? I don't know yet. And if New York's finest catch me, it may be too late. Well, then you'd better get going. NYPD is coming fast. That's it? You They're already me? here. I don't have to believe you. I know you aren't lying. But how? Let's just say you've got your superpowers, and I've got mine. I'll spread the word about your innocence. What? In other words, we're just gonna not explain it. He just knows. I mean, I think that is something. He can do. Oh, is that something he can do? Okay. I didn't realize that was one of Daredevil's powers—just the ability to tell if someone's lying. I think it like something about like he is able to hear your heartbeat or something. I don't know. I never. Okay. I know very little about most superhero mm -hmm. stuff. I know Martin was into Daredevil. I did watch the very shitty movie of it, and actually did lots of watching. Oh shit, this is the, uh, fucking helicopter escape shit. Oh shit. No, don't, don't jump off the building, what's wrong with you? Also, this is NYPD's copter chasing me around at this point. They're, like, destroying buildings and shit. Look at this, holy shit! Who gave the NYPD missiles? Like we got a highly dangerous uh, pork armed... and donuts. Pork and donuts, yeah. New York City's finest, apparently. Talking about donuts. Stay where we are, so you, stay where you are, so you can hit you with our missiles. Hey. Good level. Lasted all of two seconds. Now the same level. Well, this is. I have to climb a abandoned shitty building. Yeah, I don't think I don't think they're listening. I like how they're specifically targeting the wooden section. Yeah. Uh, but not those ones. No. Nope. Wake up to W H L K. So, did we, Marvel stuff just always do crossovers with each other? I thought that was, like, a relatively new thing with, like, all the old movies that they've done. They got me in their sights. Negative one shot. You're my wall Your aim is horrible, dude. Take a shot. Negative one shot. More explosions. Stop now, Spidey. Oh shit. You guys need to calm down. Alright, do we now get to fight the helicopter? No, I think we're still just running from it. I don't think we ever actually do anything about this helicopter because it belongs to the NYPD and we don't want to, you know, obviously we can't can't do anything to them because they're innocent. 
They're not bad guys. Picture here of them being not bad guys. Yeah, no, right? Well, what? So what <laughs> they was this machine up? that I mean, fake Spidey stole, and is it worth this it much? Was a, it was a giant box. I don't know. I'm sure if I'd paid more attention to the cutscene, I'd know what it did. But uh, at, at present, it appears to have just been a giant box. Also like a health pickup or something, but uh, oh my god, shit! <laughs> why? If they could just if they could just shoot me with a missile the entire time, why the fuck didn't they just do that? They're trying. They're just bad at their job. Jurassic Park trespasser. I don't know what that is. Ow. What's over there? I didn't go over here last time. Is it just this one dude? I guess it's just that dude. Never soft. I I don't think they made this. Did they make this? I don't remember seeing their logo in the like opening sequence or anything. So I guess I was supposed to go through here. I guess they didn't like me going on top of the building so much. She was right. Stay home today. Was right. I I couldn't tell. It sounded like he said NRG. I think we got one more in the uh, being chased sequence here. Where to go, but up? Yeah, you guys are doing a real bang up job there. Shooting already. I agree. It didn't work the last fifty thousand times. Why on earth do you think it's gonna work this time? <laughs> also, why are the police just like hanging out on this unfinished building? Like, what is this? Also, I like the, the, these like beams that are parallel. Yeah. Well, don't you know that's uh, how you increase structural integrity? Black shooting. How tall is this? Black shooting. No, he said black shooting. <laughs> oh. I'm already at full health. And thanks for the update. Say that one again, I couldn't hear you. He said something about a crate or a crane or something? Oh shit. Oh. Okay. A good level. I'm liking this section of the city that's just a bunch of buildings that don't matter and can get blown up. Yeah! Yeah! Th also, this these is... cranes that are carrying very large crates over nothing. <laughs> gossip. The daily gossip. Hey. Every fucking time I hear that voice, hey. I have to do it because it's freaking stupid sounding. <laughs> these guys won't let up. Uh, that that we've also already established. Pull it right there. I think there was something in that building, but I don't care about that. Jesus. Oh, the green smoke was caused by Doc Ock, apparently. Is that like the stupid... Oh. Is that like the, the kryptonite fog from Superman 64? Wait, no, that hasn't happened yet. That happens later in the game. There's a part in the game where, like, there's a... There's a... I don't know, some sort of toxic chemical gets released from some place, and you have to go in and stop it. But, uh, that has I don't think that's happened yet. What's the wind guy? Okay. Oh, right. Then. Hey! Hey! It's kids.
Honestly, blow up the friggin' helicopter. This is so much more trouble than we need to be dealing with. Whoops. Well, are, you, are you gonna pay for any One of the shit you broke? Well, it's not the most romantic proposition I've ever had. My cat! Oh, I'm so glad it's you. Good to see you too, big boy. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to her face? Yeah, <laughs> I can see where all the attention went on this one. Yeah, a little bit. That big screen? That's scary. That's not all. Rhino's on a rampage over at Omnitech as well. What is this, the bad guy Olympics? Look, Times Square's on the way to Omnitech. Let's find out what Venom's up to, and then we'll tackle Rhino. <laughs> oh, oh. The Venom Marathon continues on the biggest TV in New York. We're shouting out to the whole big rotten apple here, people. <laughs> Sad thing is, I'll probably get us on a talk show from Tony Hawk. So we've got <laughs> yeah, sure enough. Yeah, as mentioned earlier, Spider Man is in Tony Hawk because it's the same developers. Oh, that's it. We've decided that this poor little lassie has 24 hours to live. 24 hours! Oh, by the way. Her name is Mary Jane Parker. <laughs> of course. Because she's always in trouble. Mary Jane? So, just in case someone... Yeah, I know who it could be. If any of you type-wearing freaks out there want to save her on this fashion model, then bring it on! Meanwhile, New Yorkers, the Venom Marathon will continue! Listen, I realize what this means. Forget about how you move on the table. Apparently, the Venom Marathon is just like, like bleh, 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 bleh. Being Spider Man has given me a lot and taken a lot away, but one thing never changes my responsibility. War, war never changes. For others before myself, no matter what I feel like everyone talks a little bit too fast. Need our help right now. Did you get that down. sense? That like every them. character and is talking time, just a little too time. fast? I didn't really notice it, but yeah, kinda. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Okay, so the cutscene said we had to deal with Venom and Rhino, and it said we had to deal with Venom first, but then we're just gonna go have a boss fight with Rhino for some reason. Was that what was that actually? Rhino's looking to take Spidey down as well. Yeah, except we're done with this. <laughs> um, and I have one more, one more game in the pile here. It's I'm wondering how this one's gonna go. Uh, it's a very long game, yeah. so we're not finishing it now, certainly. And this game is really weird. <laughs> is it gonna involve metachlorians? I'm guessing it'll involve mitochondria. Yeah, I do highly recommend this Spider-Man game. It is a lot of fun. I actually kind of didn't want to stop, but I got to stop at some point. That looked pretty good. Yeah, for a girl. This disc is actually... This disc is looks pretty cool. It's got like a gold black theme to it. Look yeah, at spaghetti it. time. Yeah. I also, maybe I didn't put in the first disc or something. Maybe I didn't pay attention to what I was doing. This says disc two. It's two discs, so it that should be disc one. It doesn't look particularly scratched up or anything. No, not really. It could have just been a fluke. Or maybe my copy is just fucked. Which really sucks, because I think it was kind of expensive. Uh, yeah, apparently it was $45. Uh, no, if you just give it a minute, it'll... It'll try launching a disc on its own. Nope. Huh. Okay, I guess we're not playing this game. 
I guess we're not. Okay, now I'm curious though. Pop in disc two. Wonder what will happen. Disc two is like pristine. There's nothing on the other side of this. Pop that fucker in there. Do I ever have dreams of being in high school? Um, no, I don't think so. I didn't really have a good. I didn't really have a good. Uh, high school experience too much, so I kind of probably have most of that repressed. Okay, I actually think I know why it's not working. The entire instruction manual is written in Japanese. Oh, yeah, it, it says, uh, for Japan only, made in Japan. Yeah, this game, I have the fucking Japanese version of the game. Good. And I didn't know that. $45. And it costs $45. That is cool. But, uh, it was Parasite Eve 2, specifically, because we went through one not terribly long ago. Um, I was wanting to round off with Parasite Eve 2, I remember getting my, uh, terrible food poisoning while we were going through that game. Gross. That was fun. Look at this. Look at that. Gross. Ew. Can't really tell what's going on, but... This person, like, has Joker mouth going you on. You lose at the trick loop. I can go see what games I have. Okay, that sounds I good. I might have something more on. Sounds good. I might have something more on. And I would have to move in front of the under camera to do it. That is not acceptable. If you get really close to it, it doesn't see you. Like, right now, people are just staring at my tits. Well, that's a damn shame. I've seen gameplay of Parasite Eve 2, I know what it's like. It's a really fucking weird game. We're not playing we're not playing any Tomb Raider. I have Tomb Raider 3 for the PS1. We're not playing it because it sucks and I hate it. It was bad. It was boring as hell. I don't know why that one specifically, but it was. Do we want a good game or a shitty game? <laughs> what kind of question is that? Well, I don't know uh, what would be more entertaining. Well, what are the options? Um, well, I've got shit like uh, Bombad Racing, if we want to go down that route. <laughs> uh, otherwise, we have, like, um, I have Crash Team Racing, which is an actual good racing game. Um, I there's, like, racing like games. Uh, there's You Don't Know Jack, if you just want stupid trivia questions. Um, that sounds like that might be interesting. It's not terror uh, I don't know. I, I, most of it is garbage. Um, well, I'm gonna bring the stack out here. Let's go through shit. <clears throat> oh shit. I left, left the manual of Parasite Eve 2 out here. Good to know I'm going to have to spend money on getting a copy of this game, despite already having a copy of this game. Oh, it even, someone wrote on here in marker, it says region. <laughs> well, how, what's that? Like, how is someone going to look at it and see that it says region and think, oh, this means I can't play it? Well, here's a stack of PS1. I've also got PS doubles. I think PS1 is more what we're doing. Uh, there's Bait Escape, Gex 3, there we oh go. Oh boy, Gex 3. Yeah, that's a, that's a good one. Crash Team Racing, Tomb Raider, we already did that. Tomb Raider 4. Tomb Raider 4, we oh. already did that. Final Fantasy 9. Driver, you are the wheel man. <laughs> what? That's just the driver. It looks like a ripoff of GTA. I, I mean, it kind of is. We could play it and get stuck in the train. Grave, area. Fencer, Musashi. I don't know why I have oh. half of these games. Rayman 3. That's a PS2 game. He's back, Frogger. You don't know Jack, Volume 2 specifically. Uh, oh, 
you don't know Jack, user's manual. You don't know Jack, the irreverent quiz show and party game. These are all different versions of the same games. Metal Gear, Sockwid, Spyro, and Spyro. Um, uh, I like how you have more PS1 games than I do. I don't know where the fuck most of these come from. <laughs> Yeah, I guess we can try Rayman 3. I liked Rayman 2. I assume that was not in this game. Oh, no. This scarecrow is looking pretty mean, though. Check that shit out. <laughs> I'm trying my best here. Watch this one be region locked too. Despite being a distinctly not Japanese game. Can you get a refund for your Man, I don't even know I don't even remember where I got it. <laughs> I probably got it at the Let's Play Gaming Expo, so probably not. I wouldn't really even want one. I mean a Japanese copy is at least interesting. Sure, I can't play it, but hey. It's interesting. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I see. This is a this is input. I like Earthworm Jim. I've never cared about Rayman. What the fuck is going on right now? <laughs> Stuff. <laughs> What is this rock music video that's the opening to this fucking game? Oh boy, I get to be Clank. Okay, I'm kind of done with that. Yeah. So I'd I like know. to point out, I have no idea where this game came from, because I've, <laughs> I've never turned it on once. Well, it certainly looks a lot better than 2. Oh, this is a PS2 game. That would be why. Oh. Shit. I need to swap the memory cards. <laughs> I didn't realize this was a PS2 game. I thought it was PS1. <laughs> All as. Damn, this thing is flickering like crazy. Oh. You guys actually couldn't see it in the stream, but that, that memory card icon was flickering like crazy. DreamWorks animations. Yeah, we both went the same direction. <laughs> <laughs> it's, that's what it looks like. Ass! They apparently remade Rayman 2. I didn't even know about that. Oh, there's a creepy face frog dude. Because I thought Rayman 2 was, like, not very well loved or something. Because I knew there was a 3, and, you know, there was the fucking Rabbids shit, and there was, like, Origins. There's, like, all these Rayman games, and they're all 2D. And, or most of them are. And uh, I thought two was just like the black sheep of the series, but apparently, apparently not. Yeah, the game is pretty loud. We keep turning it down. Yeah, I think we've turned it down like every time. Yeah, we keep turning it down, and it keeps being loud. Well, too bad. I'm not getting up again. 
Uh, it's actually not Josh's fault for not being a partner, it's actually mine, because we're streaming on my channel. I'll get up and do it. Yeah, why is this so fucking loud? Also, I thought we weren't playing Frogger. Can we pretend that we know what's going on in this cutscene? Yeah, I'm not really getting any information from this cutscene, I'll be honest. I do know that the villain is a scarecrow. I got that from the disc. And now I can't hear it. God damn it. Okay. Let's get back to I, I can hear Murphy saying something, but I don't know what it is. I knew you could do it. Oh, it was a really important... Uh, I knew you could do it. Nose cone. Power original. Well, I mean, what else are they supposed to do? I'm working on it, Murphy. Shut the fuck up. Damn! You existed for like one level in Rayman 2, and you've been in this game for about three seconds, and already you pissed me off more in this game than in that one. I'm sorry, do we want to do that line again? Because he didn't sound very, uh, didn't sound very enthusiastic. How was that 100%? Next bonus level in one that I don't know what any of those are. No. <laughs> How's it hanging, Lena Dog? Come on, kid. Hey, I like that outfit on you. When does it come off? <laughs> don't be so touchy. Here, check out what I found. The manual. It's all in here. If you read the story, the closed instruction book. Once upon a time, there were lumps. Harmony, love, peace. Boring! Suddenly, a black lump transforms the red lumps into hoodlums. The world is in great danger. I feel like I recognize this voice. It says here the glow box took off with your hands. Knowing what a scaredy cat he is, he's probably hiding someplace. It's not going to be easy to get your hands on him. <laughs> hands, no pun intended. Oh, uh, by the way, I forgot to mention that every action wins you points. Let me demonstrate. I hate Murphy so much. Yeah, he's... He was fine in Rayman 2. He didn't say much. He just kind of gave you tutorial stuff, and it was fine. Your actions are worth even more points. you got to fast. If your scoring stops... Oh, God, it does sound like Billy West. One last thing. Points can... Oh, is it Billy West? So try to score big. This manual looks like a blast. There's bound to be one or two useful things in it. I have no hands. Um... Bonus. It, game. Okay. <laughs> there are no subtitles. You're gonna have to deal. Everything in Rayman looks like Louisiana, but worse. <laughs> yeah, I kind of agree. Here, it tells you to hit the shoot button when you want to attack. Come on. I have to be really close to stuff to hit it. Weird. And the screen is pretty busy. What is this? Okay, so at what point do I get to shoot Murphy? Great. You truly are the best. Yeah, I don't know what it is about the style of these games, but I've just never found them very appealing looking. I think Rayman 2 looks fine. I definitely see that this one's in the same style, but the, uh, the lighting is kind of... 
throwing me off. It's pretty much just the lighting, I think. Shut the fuck up, Murphy. Shut the fuck up, Vegan Steve. But did you know that Vegan Steve is funny? Vegan Steve's got this. Capture the teenager. Capture the teat. The fairy council. Picture here. <laughs> Some cloud. This blows my mind. It explains the switch's trigger mechanism. Duh. Please. Who's responsible for this garbage? Thanks. Wow, he's uh really just not shutting up. Hey, hey, You have collected a large swamp. <laughs> There was some shit going on there just then, and uh, I don't know what it was. See, maybe if I had some fucking arms, this wouldn't be a problem. All this happiness in the beginning of the game. Happiness. That's gonna happen. I know it. What is this I'm throwing? It's not my hands. That's yeah, just your generic energy ball attack, I think. Oh, well, why do I only get two of them? That's weird. Oh. Hello, stars. Hello, nature. What's your name, little flower? Rose. My name's Globox. Oh my god, that's supposed to be Globox? That's the voice they went with? I thought that was Murphy. I mean, in the other game, there wasn't voice acting. It was banjo kazooie noises. But in in that game, Globox's voice is like it's like a really low pitch, kind of grumbly voice. Granted, Murphy's voice was literally just whispering, so. Can't seem to put them. I can't seem to put the foot, so I'm gonna move on. Thirty-one percent. What did I do different? You didn't collect enough swarms of things. Can we play the town with no name after this? I don't have that game, so no. Hey, check it out. Switch. I bet it triggers a mechanism. Up. Hopefully, like in two, he'll be gone after you know a single a single level here. Because yeah, I'm uh, I'm not a big fan of Murphy. Murphy needs to he needs to stop. I was on spider. I don't know. Yeah, I don't need you to cheer me on every time I, like, scratch my ass, okay? What the fuck was that? <laughs> this is like just giving me a microphone and being like, hey, just voice this character. Don't rehearse. Just ad-lib. And I, I just... I, I wouldn't know what to start fuck making to say. noises. Yeah, looks like I run out of things to say after like three sentences. Move on the side. Why does he have a dollar sign above his head? Wait, 
Like, what? Can, can we let Murphy die? I wish we could. Sit up, here's a good tool, and I'll talk to you. Whoa, what could this be? Laser detergent that transforms your clothes into combat fatigues. What? Combat fatigues. That's exactly what we need. You're right. Why? Ray man, no! It belongs to the hoodlums. It might be dangerous. What is going on in this fucking game? I don't know what's going on in this fucking game. Why do we need combat fatigues? Oh. <laughs> Good luck. Yay, now we look worse. Have you tried the mushrooms yet? Who's asking this? And I'm under the impression that this thing that I have, whatever this thing is, appears to be on a timer. And it's gone. Yeah, it, it, that's the thing, it does feel generic. Like, I know that this is an established franchise, but I've just... I'm getting the vibe that this is just a cash-in game, and I don't know why. So far, I would kind of agree. There's nothing... I mean, I kind of like the sense of humor, but other than that, yeah, this is pretty generic so far. It's just platformer. Um, I would do it for ten bucks per episode. Do what? Uh, review every single episode of Pokemon. Uh, okay, maybe ten bucks is a little low. Yeah, you could uh, you could stand to make a lot more money than that. Because there's over a thousand episodes. This would uh, this would keep me busy for quite a while, and. Uh, as long as there's no expectation that uh, every review has to be, like, good. Because uh, I like watching uh, Swade's Pokemon journey, because he actually, like, kind of reflects on every episode. Even if it's, like, kind of a shitty filler one, he'll say a few things about it, give some trivia, that kind of stuff. And for me, I'd just be like, it's bad. This one was, this one was boring. This episode was pretty good. This one part, it could have been better. Just, like, those are my reviews. I didn't like this one because there wasn't enough blue in it. <laughs> 7.8 out of 10, too much water. I mean, ten, $10 an episode for like a thousand episodes is $10,000. But, like, in... This game has no art style. It's just, it's throwing everything at the wall. If, if he went through... Oops. That, I agree with that. Um, what, what the fuck? What is this? Um, if he went through all a thousand episodes in the space of six months, that would be, like, a minimum wage job. Like, if it was a thing where I could just watch an episode a day and put, like, a f five minutes of effort into making a review, like, no visuals, just me talking, than maybe. <laughs> it would be like the, uh, the Doug Walker, like, hey, I just watched an episode of Adventure Time and the bullshit about it for 20 minutes. Was that something he did? Oh, yeah. Oh. He did that for every episode of uh, Avatar and Adventure Time, and I think some other stuff after that. I actually watched a lot. What? Uh, excuse me. What the fuck is this game? I don't know. I, I, 
we did something. <laughs> did he say he's getting a hard on? Wait, did he? these characters. I don't know. But that is just straight up a, uh, what's it called? Ragtime Sally doll. What the fuck are they called? <laughs> what, a Cabbage Patch Kid? Uh, no, I'm thinking of something else, but though, that might be the same concept. Oh, um, Raggedy Ann? Yeah, that's it. What did you call it? Ragtime Sally? <laughs> Ragtime Sally? <laughs> I wasn't far off. And <laughs> you got the rag part. <laughs> Murphy has still not shut the fuck up. No, he hasn't. I'm just glad he's not particularly audible most times. Also, why does it say, like, J-N-I when you hit stuff? I don't know. And why the fuck do combat fatigues make my punch, like, tornadoes? What am I stuck on? What's... Um, well, obviously you're what? stuck on this all of them, Oh, Gnee. What's this mess? Wow, oh, shit. There was a gem in there. Since when was this game a Spyro? Or Croc. Or Croc. I, I'm Get Croc. Have you heard of Cack Rock? That sounds familiar. I don't know what it is, though. Uh, it's a Genesis game that doesn't exist. Oh, right, yeah. Like, seriously, why can I not... Oh. Apparently there's a part that I can't climb on. I didn't see it. That is not the voice that should be coming out of that thing. Teensies. Why is it a dance party? Are they saying things? Eh, that's debatable. Also, there appears to be like a turtle with a sheep's head bouncing around back there. Is he clipping through something? Who's Andre? Bird up. Burr, burr, burr. <laughs> Not that on. is your friend. Take him to the witch doctor in clearly forest. He and I go way back. He'll know how to get rid of Andre. Okay. Without Ray Man. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> what is this crystal egg? <laughs> Why is it here? Oh. 
I didn't expect that to do that. Level score is zero. It's because it wasn't a level. It was like a... It was just a small room. Oh my god, it's Mia's dance party. It is Mia's dance party. Oh! Did I, I... I think I did. So, why are we in Mia's dance party now? I kind of like Wait, the am I writing a shell? Is this the writing the shell segment? Oh god, it is. I died. Shell. I can't really see what's up because everything look it's all paper thin and I can't really tell. I like the visuals here, but yeah, it's really hard to fucking see. I can't see what the fuck's coming up. Okay, so right here I got- Oh my god, I can't aim this thing. Just a little bit. God, that doesn't look right. Oh my god! Why doesn't- it, uh... This is so bad. Is it? Is that actually a life counter at the top? Why? Why do you have three thousand lives? Wait. It goes down one? by one when you fall. Wait. Really? Oh no, it's just taking away your life. Let's start that. Here's love. Oh my fucking god. Yeah, this looks kind of hellacious. Is it all the way at the beginning now? I don't know. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Speaking of DK64, when is the stream ending? What? Because that game ended, so it was related. And we're still going, aren't we? At least now you can kind of see the platforms. Kind of. <laughs> Now they're Mega Manning themselves. So what are we doing? I don't know what the fuck we're doing. This game has zero focus. So what I've gathered is uh, a scarecrow showed up and started poking a bunch of people and they got upset. And then Murphy is like... Hey, you gotta save us, and you were missing your arm, you are missing your hands. Because Glowbox had them, and, apparently. Okay, and then he's like, hey, I'll go take you there while reading from this instruction manual. And then there was a Raggedy Ann doll and a floating black thing that Glowbox, like, swallowed. And then you showed up at a fucking grave, and then <laughs> this ha Like, I don't know what the going on. I don't know what the fuck's going on. I think Andre is the scarecrow. But, uh... Okay. What the? Who, who turned off the nice music? Nobody break anything. Music, where are you? Shut it! What the fuck? Wait a minute, I need medical attention. Quick! Yeah, we're working on it. We're gonna be rated PG-13. You'll never get to a doctor in the forest. My look will make sure of that. Yeah, Croc was more straightforward than this. It was simple to the point of being kind of boring. Right. This is having the opposite problem, where I just do not understand what the fuck is going on. Excellent. Excellent. Who is that? I'm the basketball. <laughs> yeah, I'm the basketball. Who? Okay, it's one of these things, so... 
That would suggest that I need combat fatigues, you know. So what are we collecting? They're teardrops. But why? Uh, to collect enough monkey asses to do the thing. Uh, to like put them into a, like a f telephone pole to make turkeys. Oh, what did I do? Oh, you got the blue one. Thanks, big nose. Look what I sliced from the food lens. I need to go fire up the barbecue. What the fuck are you guys talking about? Every character in this game just talks, and they just keep talking, and they just say random shit. And it's like, it, wow, it's really dense. Every every frame is so dense. Every frame is so dense. I think we uh, we have gone a little too far. I've gone a little bit too far in some places. It's like John Tron just screaming and then like hitting a thing with a bat. <laughs> if me ate, then why me kill for banana? <gasps> so. I okay, what is that like... thing? What is the red meter? That's my health bar, I assume. Okay. I feel like I need to move this crate. Who left their shoes in frame? What is this orange thing? <laughs> why is there an extension cable here? Why is there an Ethernet port in a hospital room? Why did we pick the room with the most possible windows for the doctor set? <laughs> this woman wearing her father's wrinkled up lab coat is supposed to be a doctor. Someone's thirsty. Somewhere. <laughs> you think? What's that over there, Dr. So me just walking over here caused that to happen. And then he just went up <laughs> like five times. <laughs> Why does he have a dollar sign over his head? You got the dog food. You did it. Great. All right. Yes. Now with these, we can. What? My hair is blue. That's can that's try the hammering on the doors. This ought to stop him from playing with the doors. So I don't understand what this suit did. Uh, it lets you do a charge up punch. I already could do a charge up punch. That doesn't count. Oh man, it's gone. This is a lot like the, uh, the, like, power-up drinks in, uh, Od uh, Munch's Odyssey. Because they're on, like, this weird timer. And you just get them for specific parts of the level where you need to do stuff. Because I haven't been doing anything up to this point, right? I mean, I don't know what the fuck you've been doing. I've been going through the level. I don't know what good that's doing, but I'm doing it. Excellent. Coppin. Hey, what the fuck do you mean, Coppin? Coppin! Are these, like, French onomatopoeia? That, that might be what they are. Coppin's kind of a weird one. I'm a croc Janine. 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 You know, the... Oh, think right. it was hey earlier? Yeah. The music became Pikmin 2. How so? This, this instrument, this, like, that's an instrument that comprises almost all the music for, like, certain no. floors and certain dungeons in that game. What the hell is this music? <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, that was plum juice, and someone was allergic to plum juice. I don't remember. Robots is. Then why did he fucking drink it? 
I have no idea why he decided to drink that. Okay, so at some point, the developers were like, we want to have a level where you're swimming up a waterfall going away from piranhas that are also swimming up the waterfall. And they keep teleporting and around. I see them like, teleporting. How do we lead Look. to this? We'll have them drink a barrel of plum juice and then jump off. This set of four piranhas is the same set every time. Because they're just moving around under the waterfall, but they didn't clip it right, so I can see them moving around. Yeah, I've heard of both of those runs. They sound completely fucking ridiculous. Completely unreasonable. I'm almost kind of looking forward to the Pikmin 3 re like, uh, re or, or, what, what, what would you call it? Re release remaster port. <laughs> I think it's... I mean, they call it the lot. What was that about spaghetti? I don't know. That's a good question. That's a good question, Mega Man. I like how red lums are still a thing, but the other lums are just gone. Unless these teardrop things are supposed to be yellow lungs, because they sure don't look like them. Lel. I think it was like Liu. Yeah, oh, yeah L E U U. Trying to take the name for what I did. Excellent. This is more plum juice. Yes. I don't believe I've ever had plum juice. Yes. I have had the plums though, they're actually pretty good. Subtle nagging. I mean, I did LP Pikmin 1 back before I had uh, video quality. And I've played the game a couple times since then. I don't know if I'm in any rush to replay that one again. I'm pretty much always up for replaying Pikmin 2, but we did go through the ROM hack of that like a couple months ago. Yeah, that's. Weird. That wasn't that was not too long ago. Unfortunately, neither of the ROM hacks were terribly good. There is a certain individual that I gave a copy of Pikmin 1 to that uh, has not played it. I will annoy her about it. Uh, it was two Pikmin, uh, Pikmin 251. It had orange pigment that were used like twice. Yeah. At no point were they particularly obligated, uh, obligatory. can of soda and get some other ability. Alright, what's this one gonna do? It also makes me blue. Uh -oh. Okay. Look up and get a grip. Uh, I assume grabbing onto the balloon thing? No, I didn't. We didn't record it. Oh. 
I see this is the replacement for the purple lump. Like, it, it gets it gets annoying trying to record or stream like everything that we play. Some stuff has just got to be done without audience. Yeah, I agree with that. Plus, a lot of things are not really appropriate to stream terribly. Like the Pikmin one would have been kind of interesting, but it, I mean, it did also get tedious in a lot of parts. It did, yeah. And it was definitely a lengthy process. Like, it would have taken even longer when streaming. When we weren't, you know, necessarily completely focused on what we were doing. Well. <laughs> Coven. Gra. Crocs Gra. Croc have a glory. The wild lap and jump out. <laughs> Go away. Don't feel pressured by people like me. Maybe that's Thank your, you. Maybe that's your uh, cue to shut the fuck up then. This show made possible by viewers like you. Shut Thank the you. fuck up. Today's episode was brought to you by a grant from The Cheat, and from viewers like you. It's, I've noticed a definite cycle, which is wander around figuring out what, like, basic, not quite a puzzle level element it wants me to do, then have combat, which is exactly the same thing every time, then go back to more wandering around aimlessly and such, and it just kind of never stops. I know what that is. I also it can't might, tell. It might be if it was stuck with long enough. This might just be an early section of the game that's just kind of meant to ease you into it. This place rules. And it Look might Phoenix. adopt Love some you. semblance of you. structure <laughs> later. But right now... Why can I bounce around a plum? Can't you like jump on it? Like, uh, you could yeah, in the 64 one. And but uh. Oh, oh, okay. There we go. I managed to pick it up. Yeah, I guess you do use it the same way. Oh, okay. The level just kind of ended there. As you know, the next level is in 4,576 4, points. No, that's the next bonus level. Yeah. I don't know if I feel like dealing with more of this. Yeah, I can... I can kind of see that. 
I got a new ability. Oh. 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 Yeah, this is the flying rocket shell. Are you finally done goofing off? Can we get going now? Okay, I guess that's the one I just did. Keep it up. I like how the objective is to blow up silhouettes of myself. Yeah. And your alleged friend. He said, come on, you haven't scored yet. I hope you have better luck with the ladies. Janine. Janine. drink. <laughs> yeah, there was no complete sentence there. <laughs> there was no verb in that sentence. <laughs> the fuck is this? Yes. Still not sure I, I I'd really like an answer as to why these guys have dollar signs over their head. That'd be nice. Mm, nice. It's just a normal thing. But yeah, I don't know. The, the, this brain, this game has uh, kind of melted my brain a little bit. Yeah, I'm uh, not so sure about this one. I think it's a good stopping point. I'm really tired. I need to go to bed anyway. Also, video games. That's it. I, I feel like I've not had anything to say in like the past four days. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I kind of feel the same way. I was just kind of going through the motions with this game. I'm like, yeah. What do you mean X validate? <laughs> do it. You gotta validate. There, I validated. <laughs> <laughs> do a damn thing. Throw right. it up. Good night.